Jason Quigley, Jared Hill. A couple of hungry guys up on the front row, ready to bring us to the always locked self storage start point. Evan with the green flag in the hand, we are racing here in Land of Legends. making memories up here on the flag stand and we're making memories at the front of the field here. Quigley and Hill, eyeball to eyeball into turn number three. Battling for the race lead, Hill lets it drift out to the top side, tries to get the run off turn four, won't do it, Quigley will lead lap number one. So Jason Quigley, your early race leader, Hill slides back to two, Minute Low runs in three, Bob Buno battling now with Mike Welch for fourth. Quigley and Hill, who will get the advantage here on the restart? They fire together here to turn number three. And they will bring it off at turn number four. Green flag is in hand. Hill's got the advantage that time off turn four, and he'll take the race lead to turn number one. But Pangrazio takes it out to the top shelf off turn two. Hill goes upstairs to shut the door. But Pangrazio says, hold my beer, I'll go one lane higher into turn number three. And it looks like he's gonna get the spot. Hill right there with him off turn four. They trade a little bit of paint. New race leader here on lap five. Pangrazio, Quigley, Minutlo, Welch, Hill, Grigo. Right now your top six. Joe, Jimmy Grant right there with him. Oh, and Grant and Krigo got caught up here coming off at of turn four. They are hooked together and they will slide to a stop on the inside of turn number one. Another look for you here from the speed shot right above the concrete barrier and you're gonna watch top now headed to the right side of your screen and right there is where they made the car. You can see one of the sparks that came off those cars. That is a nice looking camera right there, Mr. Rory. I am convinced with that speed shot that we could catch a driver picking his nose coming off of turn four if we had to. Green lights are back on, we're back underway. Mike Welch on the attack here with Jason Quigley for second. Manutlo falls back to fourth. Parker Smith back out on the racetrack in the 55P. Hill with a great view of this battle as he watches back from fifth. And now Manutlo down to the inside of Quigley. It was a test of wills into turn number three. Who was willing to drive it in deeper? Manutlo down to the bottom and he'll take over second here on lap number 12. And now there they are side by side for the race lead off turn two. Manutlo is there. Oh, Manutlo's car has been so good on the bottom lane. Into turn number three. Now Pangrazio up on the gas off of turn four, but Manutlo is there side by side for the race lead. And it looked like it was Pangrazio still by a bumper, but no, it was Manutlo by 13 one thousandths of a second. And now you've got a new race leader here on lap 15. And Pangrazio says, this cannot be happening to me again. Pangrazio trying to real, oh man, he got a great run off of turn four through the middle that time. Four to go and Pangrazio back to the top of the leaderboard. But this is where Manutlo's been so good all night long on the bottom of turns one and two. He'll pull a wheel up alongside Pangrazio, but Pangrazio with the ponies off the corner. One to go. And right now it's Josh Pangrazio. Manutlo trying to make a move down to the inside, but Pangrazio gets the run off the corner. And right now it looks like it's gonna be the driver out of Oakfield, New York in the Skyline RV Sales and Service, Hausman Refrigeration, Impressions Concrete, number seven, win number four for Josh Van Grazio. Manutlo gave it a valiant effort, but he will come home in second. I was just uh, making sure to conserve my uh, equipment and, and whatnot, and uh, you know, I seen him on the inside of me going into turn one, and uh, I moved up a little bit, and I found a little bit up there, and then I just uh, moved up and uh, just kept it rolling.